happy readers, my name is Liz, and today I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to do a haul, but I'm also going to do something a little bit No, we're going to do it the same, but a, a little bit of change. Look, let's just call it the same thing. It's a book haul. It's a book haul. So for Christmas, I received a $20 gift card to Barnes & Noble, and of course, you can't just spend $20 at Barnes & Noble. you got to spend more than that. And uh, some things that caught my eye were some comic book bind-up thingamajigs, whatever you call them. These have all been kind of suggested to me within the past, like, six months or so. The first is Captain Marvel and the Carol Corpse, and this is War Zones, Secret Wars, Marvel. Um, and I have seen Kelly DeConnick speak on several panels at uh, Dragon Con, and so I know that she's super cool, and I've only heard really good things about Captain Marvel and all the super awesome cosplay that I've seen along with that too. But uh, I'm not sure if this is all the ones that Kelly DeConnick has done, but uh, I, it looks super awesome and I can't wait to read it. I really don't know too much about Captain Marvel. It was a very recent discovery, really, within the past like year. So, yeah. This is the second one that I looked at, but the first one that I actually picked up because I was like, I know that I need this. And I've heard, I'm pretty sure Rincey from Rincey Reads has talked about it. I've had several IRL friends talk about it and it is Lumberjanes. And uh, if you have seen, I think that's Noelle Stevenson's name. Uh, who all is involved with this? There's so many, so many names. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's see. Who's in it? Yeah, Noelle Stevenson, and I can't remember what she's done other than this, but her name rings a bell, but I have only, again, heard really great things. Really great things about this one. Seems like there's a camp and shenanigans, of course. And then one that I recently found out about that I had never heard of Squirrel Girl before, but uh, this is The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, and I saw a couple of um, little, like a page of it or something like that, and I just was so astounded at just the hilarity of it that I knew that I needed to get it. This seems to be number two, uh, but I, comics... It's not that hard to pick up some of them, so, uh, or pick up on the story, I should say. But, uh, yeah, this looks like a lot of fun, and she meets new people, and all that jazz. I've seen this one so often that I'm just like, I need it, I need it in my life. I grew up on Spider-Man, I grew up on all that good fun stuff, and I grew up on, uh, you know, seeing all the Spider-Man girlfriends and all that good stuff on the cartoons and stuff, but I have yet to s see any of this. So I was like, it's pretty and it's shiny and it's Spider-Gwen, I should get it, yes, cool, yes. And now on to a novel that I have read, and oh my gosh, it's amazing, it's good, it's wonderful. I received this book for review and it was just like, I need this, I need to read it right now, and it is The Incredible Adventures of Cinnamon Girl, and I received this for review from Peachtree Publisher, and uh, basically... This book has already come out in Australia, but they gained the rights to it for the United States and Canada, so it is coming out in April, but I read it super early because I was like, I need a good December read, a good Christmas read to just get me going, get me going for all that good stuff. But this one is a lot of fun because she kind of uses Cinnamon Girl as kind of like her alternate reality version of herself, kind of. Um, and I love the fact that there are actual, like, uh, can I find it? There it is. There are, like, illustrations in it, and it's awesome. But it's about this girl who lives in this tiny, tiny Australian town. Basically, it's founded by her parents and a couple other people. It's almost like a hippie compound, almost. But, uh, basically what happens is this guy goes, it's the end of the world, and this is the place to be if you want to survive it, maybe, possibly. But, uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Her mom owns this, like, bakery cafe place in town, and so it's just, there's so much magical, no, not, not anything magical, like, magic doesn't happen, but I mean, like, fun stuff happens. Fun stuff happens, it's a great time, there's all these different characters, but like, it focuses on her and her point of view, so, yes, it's great, it's wonderful, you should all read it as soon as you possibly can, because I know that it's out there in some other countries, so I thought I'd recommended early and all this stuff and you should definitely pre-order it because 
I recommend it. I, it's it's more on the contemporary side, but if you also like um, some of the like comic book graphic novel kind of stuff, she talks about like drawing and art and things like that just a little bit, and her aspirations, and she's trying to decide whether or not she wants to go to college or if she wants to stay at home or whatever she's gonna do. It's crazy times, and who does she like, and da 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 da. -da but it's like in a really great way. I loved it so much. And I need to read Life in Outer Space. That's back here. Uh, that's another book. Yeah. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this little haul slash what am I reading right now. I hope you guys have a great day and keep reading.